The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And what do we have? The same thing every day, as long as you're here at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So we've got uh, a market up. Um, volumes okay, uh, 8.5 billion shares as we start the show. What is very different is the last uh, hour and 30 minutes. Uh, oh. We're back to FOMC meeting level, uh, pre-FOMC uh, level uh, volume. Uh, I think it was at about 1230. We had about 7.4 billion. So this is um, incredibly light volume here. Um, so, uh, just, uh, be, uh, be probably advised. We're probably going to have a sharp move more likely, I think a correction to the downside, but, um, people could all go nuts. There aren't a lot of shorts out there. Maybe the last few, uh, will be out there. I've been looking for some kind of blow off top. Uh, don't know if we get it in our day or if we get it somewhere else, but be very advised. Uh, the markets are thin at the moment. 877 uh, Okay. And uh, what else? Oh, you can uh, reach me at path at tfnn.com. Uh, for other stuff going on out here, um, had a lot of uh, emails that I answered about China tariffs. Um, the, probably the biggest one is just how big were they? It was about 25%. Some other boards and that kind of stuff uh, could come down significantly, but it's all PCB boards, uh, printed circuit board, uh, finished, assembled products, and uh, power supplies, which were not uh, changed in uh, over the weekend. Uh, the, inver uh, the inverted uh, yield curve continues to uh, hit us, and uh, somebody in the den was nice enough to post uh, what was it? Uh, the inversion in the uh, uh, two to ten year now. Uh, generally, those are very uh, ominous uh, things. Uh, everybody's uh, just, I think, kind of acting like it's not happening, at least as far as I can tell. Uh, many people continue to email me with, uh, I, I would say, Elvis sightings uh, that. Uh, the Fed is uh, still very active, and they may be. I just don't know really uh, and haven't heard a whole lot uh, from my sources about what they're doing. Uh, the general consensus, though, and most of these folks is they did come in last night to start supporting the, uh, the bonds a little bit. TLT is up. A buck eighteen as we speak, one thirty ninety three. Uh, we did talk about how it was testing those previous lows on lighter volume, uh, and I thought uh, there was a chance that you could bounce as high as one thirty six in this. I don't know if you get that much, uh, but uh, certainly you did come in there with a little lighter volume. Uh, it wasn't that much lighter, uh, but it was light enough. Now you're back into the trading range, but the volume absolutely stinks today uh yesterday you had 17.6 million shares in the tlt today you got about 9.8 so there isn't a whole lot out here there's a bunch of stair step uh uh gaps which you might say like i said 134 maybe as high as 136 there's a double gap at 139 i think that's kind of the long shot um out here actually there's a triple gap Two gaps down and one gap up going back to the uh, third uh, in the beginning of the month. So uh, just uh, keep a close eye on it. We kind of eh, eh, got, what do we get? Uh, got 131.42 for the high today. 
uh, or in about the last hour. And I'm wondering if that didn't have something to do with the light volume that I'm seeing over the last couple hours. Uh, again, you can email me at path at tfnn.com. And, of course, you can always uh, put a message in the den. That's it. Uh, okay. Uh, gaps are opportunities. Uh, certainly, we have those in the TLT. Now, back to my list of stuff. Uh, after the bell tonight, also, uh, we've got Chewy, C-H-W-Y. Uh, it would be very interesting on this one is mostly because uh, uh, just how tough it had been for these guys uh, with uh, supply disruptions. I continue to see people buying stuff from them, so they're getting stuff. Uh, energy on the way up is about the same on the way down. Uh, you did have kind of a nice test out here of the January 24th low at 36.70. You got to 35.59 on just a little under 4 million shares. Back in the trading range and back up. I don't know if their uh, supply chains issues are over, but it will be an interesting to watch after the uh, close tonight. Uh, to, to, to what else did I have on my list of stuff? To, to, I think that's about it. Got it, all those answered. Let's do a little history and they'll just move on to straight charts. When we return. A bit of history repeating. On this day in 1989, Pixar wins an Academy Award for 10 Toy, the first entirely computer animated work to win the best animated short film category. Pixar, now a division of Disney, continued its success. The string of shorts and first entirely computer animated feature length film, the best selling, I don't know if it's a best selling, best attended Toy Story. Of course, they sold lots of toys, so maybe it is the best selling Toy Story. And of course, what is that? Uh, 1994, 1996. But, uh, yeah, most of those uh, short Pixar animated uh, movies uh, really uh, got me interested in that part of the, uh, of, the, uh, of the business and why I ended up getting into that in the 1990s. Of course, now uh, pretty much uh, a Eastern, uh, old Eastern block business where they almost picked up uh, entirely all of Hollywood in special effects and moved them over there. Uh, because uh, the labor rate was about 25% of what it was in Hollywood. And uh, I always uh, was amazed about how many people talked about uh, how things should work and what they should be and pushing union stories and then instantly uh, moving everything offshore because it was much cheaper. And, of course, uh, there's two people in Hollywood. There's the people that actually have the cash and the people that want the cash to make movies. And the people that have the cash always win. But that's part of it. Uh, anyway, that's kind of it. Let's take a look. Um, see anything else. Go back to this. Um, is it possible all these mutual funds are chasing each other? Performance return for the quarter driving prices up till the end of the quarter on Thursday? It is, but I, I don't think that there's much out here. I think everybody, if the, if the feds are not lying, if they have and not going to throw thirty million dollars or thirty billion dollars back into the bonds, I don't know how. Even if money's coming from overseas, that this is going to. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we return, a uh, question in the den, uh, $1,000 for Tesla by Friday. Um, well, they've come right into uh, the previous high. Right now, you've got about 18 million shares compared to 33 on the previous uh, 1208 high and 25 million on the previous 1243 uh, high. Um, and uh, so, you know, is the energy all that great? It's been pretty good for the last you know, as gas was going up. Uh, of course, uh, a lot of the gap from yesterday and a little bit of what today is, uh, is uh, them um, talking about splitting the stock. Now, generally, there's two things. If you're a big Wall Street uh, tycoon and you have your own uh, fund or you have, uh, you know, you're, you work at Goldman Sachs or whatever, uh, you like very high price stocks like Amazon and Tesla. Uh, the reason is that a lot of people don't short it, and it becomes harder to beat it down. Uh, so, and of course, you can, you know, when people do start shorting it, it's fairly easy to buy a few shares and drive it because it's uh, fairly expensive. So if you got some deep pockets, it's fairly easy to go after. We are in uh, at the very top of a downtrend in Tesla. But generally what happens uh, is you get the gap, everybody's all excited, you get the split going. Uh, historically, when you've had these big stocks like, uh, well, Amazon hadn't quite done it yet, Tesla will. Uh, once you get the split, the character of trading actually changes quite a bit. And uh, in the past, when we've seen rather big splits, it generally, I would say 80% of the time, ends up being a spot where the big guys, there isn't a lot of destruction right off the top, but the big guys use uh, the retail trader who's thinking he's going to come back in and clean up. Now that the split's out here. The stock's only 200 bucks now compared to 1000 so it's got to be much better, even if there are five times as many shares. Well, the big guys on the street almost always, like I said, 80, I'm going to say 80% or more, use it to distribute the stock. So I would be very careful about anything higher. 
but at the same time well, at the same time we probably cleaned out anybody that was short on tesla over the last couple of days but uh yeah it's still interesting nonetheless i will say this um the light volume is not something that you like as a follow-up but uh i think uh you know if it's going to fail if you're looking for lower it's going to fail in the next day if it's not headed down lower by tomorrow then it could hang up the problem is that everybody thinks that uh splits are a panacea and uh, it will bring the retail trader back in it certainly does but they tend to be in much weaker hands than the big guys on wall street and if anything i could say about amazon or tesla all of the businesses and the management is wildly different I suspect that these stocks are set up for mass distribution, maybe over 10 years, maybe more. Uh, Tesla, I don't think it's going to last that long. Uh, competition will come on. Uh, they'll probably get their uh, factories in China eventually uh, 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 attached by the communists uh, and uh, lose everything they have over there. I'm just figuring that things are not going to get better with China and us. But uh, you know what? Eh, you see uh, others. But anyway, uh, splits kind of inoculate a stock for a little while. So I'm not looking for a whole lot out here. But, uh, you know, if the market decides to turn, like I said, this is scary low volume over the last two hours. This is the kind of stuff you see right before the Fed meeting. And, you know, that we're here. It's going to be interesting. But uh, we shall see. Um, I've been waiting for some kind of blow off top just on the internals of the market. And it's unclear whether or not we're going to get that uh, fairly soon. Uh, but uh, you know what? Uh, I think this is a gift. And I've added to uh, some short positions. Do, 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 okay. Uh, uh, he only wants 999. A thousand is not it, but uh, that's it. Um, Rivian's up 16%. We'll take a look at that. EV market. Uh, um, yeah, I think Rivian was pretty massively shorted. Uh, to, to see what we have here. Um, yeah, 28% short yesterday for the FINRA data, 29% the day before, 30% the day before. Yeah, you had a lot of people short this thing, I would imagine. And, uh, you know, getting a nice pop out of here, not too bad. The big problem they have uh, is they've got an interesting product. They've alienated a lot of their buyers and run them off. I don't know if they care because they probably had... 10 orders for every one car, so if they alienated five of them, they probably still have five. They raised their prices uh, extensively before the pre-order, and I think it's, I want to say, $16,000 more than it was uh, when they did the pre-order. There's probably some reasons um, that we are well aware of on why everything's gone up. Uh, Rivian, of course, was going to be bought out by Ford. And now Ford's got its own pickup truck. Uh, a lot of good ideas in the Rivian thing. It's like a lot of stuff in technology. They come up with a lot of good ideas and everybody else just copies them. And I wonder just, you know, at what point um, do these guys have to sell out to somebody else? Um, they use a lot of Ford running gear. Uh, so the question is, it, can anybody but Ford actually buy them? And I think that decision makes it very tough to go after them. Uh, give me a call today, 877-927-6648. If you have any deep and burning questions, there's ointments and lotions for those. I'll be more than glad to tell you how to do it. But, uh, yeah, good day to give me a big call. As I said, I'm waiting for the volume to come in. I think it will before the end of the day. Uh, but uh, the very light volume here... Uh, makes it uh, very susceptible uh, to moves either way, at least in the you know, 10, 15 minute range. Uh, but we'll see how it does. 
Uh, see if there's anything else out here and check our email and see. Okay. Question about Workday. One of my favorite companies, not necessarily the stock. Um, you're certainly going back into the 6.6 .6 million share March 3rd high. What do you got today about a million shares? That's kind of it. Um, where would you short hood? Well, we're going to run out of time here. But when we come back, we will feel all as inquiring minds want to know. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we come back and the... Uh question was about where will we short uh, Robin Hood. Um, I will answer that in a second. Had another one that I forgot to answer earlier, which is Microsoft. Uh, yeah, you're testing the 314 high. That's the February 2nd high. Had 46 million shares with 16.9. Let's call it 17 million shares. So that's telling you a lot. You also have a uh, 
kind of a hanging man out here for a doji today. You did get, uh, go through both of these gaps. Uh, you had a little bit more volume yesterday, 20, well, let's call it 30 million. Uh, you still needed something in that neighborhood of 45 or 50 million shares uh, to really signal that you're going to go. I wouldn't be shorting this one, but there are a lot out here that look rather similar, uh, which is a very light volume. Uh, now on Robinhood, uh, as I said, uh, three, four days out here on uh, mid 20% for FINRA data shorting. And that's it. Um, very light volume out here. So, yeah, tough. Um, oh, we wanted to go to Hood, which is what, what I was talking about, the shorting, uh, which I did not go. You got, uh, I don't know. Where would I sh uh, short Robin Hood? Um, 40 bucks. I don't short stocks below 30 bucks. Uh, your chances of getting your head handed to you, pretty high. You got a nice gap there. Um, you got a nice bounce here. I just, you know, if you're going to be short overnight in these things, um, or if you're not going to have your finger on a mouse, I'm not one of these guys that would short uh, a $17 stock. Um, the, the law of numbers, big numbers and small numbers, you're just fighting. But uh, I'd need 40 bucks before I'd even consider shorting Robin Hood yet again. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, lots of questions about fund buying. I don't think that there's a lot going to happen. Now, the Fed could be lying to us. They could dump out as much cash. Uh, everybody could be right about that. Um, and they could just be totally lying to us. But I, I don't know how you ever listen to them ever again. Um, at least they, in the past, when they folded, they've said something. Uh, but uh, this will be interesting. But, uh, yeah, I, I mean, we're up here with very, very light volume in some of these leaders. In fact, let's go look at Apple and see how it's doing. Um, you're back up into this. Got about, uh, what, 60, 61 million shares um, you had a top up there, 153 million shares. Uh, the last one on February 9th came with 90 million shares. You may do 75, so you're going to be a little light. Um, again, maybe these things just trip all the way to the top. And, you know, you could get that in the next couple of days. But uh, we'll see today. I think today is going to give you a question whether everybody decides to uh, sell the move uh, and uh, we see some kind of top or maybe we do just stumble up into earnings uh, and get yet another kind of wicked move higher but um, from looking at Apple and Microsoft all these are fairly uh, light in volume let's take a look at Google we don't talk about that much uh, Google's up today on to do, do, do. Uh, just under a million well 9.3 million I won't even say that 930,000 shares um, yesterday you had 1.8 million shares so again fairly light do you get back up to this gap that'd be another 100 points higher uh, man that's a tough one um, these guys got a lot of problems coming ahead and uh, uh, well, the, one of the old uh, executives, Schmidt, uh, is uh, maybe facing some action for some of the stuff that he did. Um, but uh, we do not know at the moment. A uh, question from Metamucil, from Ron. You've bounced back up here. You're back up to the gap uh, down, which really goes back to February 11th. On that one, you know, you got just light volume. Um, you know, if you were going to short this thing, you got a double gap at 260, and that's where I'd have to look. I can't see being short this thing now. It may not get there, but, you know, if you were looking for any kind of decent uh, spot uh, for a bigger ABC on the way down, um, yeah, 260-ish, right there, that double gap comes in. 
Um, and of course, that go, takes you back to this huge uh, gap down on earnings uh, from the the third of February, where everybody's going to be wanting to try to get out if they've held through this mess all the way down to 185. Okay. See what else we have. Um, restoration hardware may be one of the most uh, overpriced stocks of all time. Um, they were able, uh, through hook and crook, to get it up to those highs. Um, I'd want a 500 bucks to short it. There's a gap there. Um, you know, do you go back and retest 320.81? First, you could if the market doesn't get moving uh, and higher. In a, this thing's going to have to have a lot of help from the general market. Um, but uh, interest rates, all that stuff, really blowing. Uh, it, it's got the wind in its face, not in, at its back. Uh, another one about uh, Lululemon. Let's go through that. Okay. Oh, I've got, uh, for some reason, uh, everything quit moving here. I thought nobody was typing anything in the den. Uh, okay, let's see if we have anything else out here. i uh, got a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, uh, but this time it's different. Okay. think so okay um so we looked at lulu here um lulu's testing its previous high uh didn't hold it you had a doji on february 2nd with 2.25 uh, million shares you're into it today not really holding it with 1.7 million shares so the volume isn't as bad as you could th or would think um that one's kind of probably sideways i think now that it's hit that high it may need to build some steam before it can get any higher. Uh, but those are that. We'll be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return, keeping a look on gold here, it's come back to this uh, gap up. That gap up comes from the 28th of February. You had about 16 million shares on that. Um, you got about 7 million shares as it went through that gap and then reversed today. So you got uh, your first signs of a fairly decent uh, support level here. Uh, you also have one gap underneath it. That gap had 18 million shares. So, you know, you got 18 million and then 16 million. So I would have liked to have seen a little less in the way, well, uh, of volume yesterday. You, you're getting that finally today. And uh, you could be uh, basing out here for a nice run. Uh, my guess, though, is... Uh, it's problematic i think the rest of the markets too coming in here but gold's price is not just telling you something about gold i think it's telling you something about the general markets too da, 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 da. okay uh what else do we have here Go back and look. Okay. <laughs> uh, the usual suspects uh, in technology. Uh, AMD's got a little doji at here. The volume's not all that exciting. 92, 93 million shares yesterday, 74 million shares today. You're going back into a little bit of a high on the 28th of February. That had 124 million shares. So a little bit light on that. Take a look at NVDA. We'll go to the SMHs. Uh, NVIDIA, <laughs> a little better off, mostly because it had its dog and pony that we highlighted last week during the show. Um, as I said, incredibly impressive stuff. What you don't have is a lot of follow-through. You're in the third day. Volumes kind of decreased on each one, and it hadn't really gone higher. Uh, today... 35, 36 million shares compared to that huge day up on 87. Um, you know, back into the trading range, again, I'm not going to short this thing, but my guess is this thing looks like it wants to go back into the trading range. Uh, it may need a little bit more consolidation out of that. Uh, to 2K. Let's take a look at the SMHs. And... You know, you, you uh, gap bound back on the 10th of February. You did so on 8.3 million shares in the SMHs. You got a little doji at here today on 4.7 million shares so far. Uh, but yeah, you got 10 million, 8.3 million. Today, just not a lot of con uh, confidence. Um, energy off the lows, about 20% lighter. Not the end of the world. 
But uh, you had more volume on the way down, which suggests that this is going to be weak for a little while. You also did not have a uh, light volume low, as many other stocks did. Uh, 270, excuse me, 237, 33, he said, 32. Yeah. Uh, that's the March 14th low, so that is still open out here with uh, 13 million shares. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons why it could come back. Uh, let's take a quick look at Micron. Um, this one, again, kind of a little, uh, a little uh, hanging man out here on the, on the doji scale. Uh, you're up. You got better volume. This is still probably the class of the straight play in uh, technology. Yeah, volume's not all that bad. But it doesn't look like a breakout or anything. There isn't significant volume. Uh, let's take a quick look at Taiwan Semiconductor. Now, this came off. Everybody's still worried about uh, China invading uh, while we're distracted with uh, Russia. Uh, you know, they, I'm sure they think it's a good time. Uh, 224, the February 24th, we gapped down with uh, 27 and a half million shares. Uh, we're back into those candles today with 8.6 million shares. So, yeah, it's still, you know, we're really huffing on volume right now. Uh, 9.3 billion shares. And that was uh, having about 7.5 billion shares right after lunch. So it's been incredibly quiet uh, for that time. So just keep an eye out here on possible fast action before the bell closes if volume remains that light. Uh, okay. Okay. And CCJ for Robert. Yeah, this came back into the trading range and you never like that when it bus out. It never really had the volume that you wanted. Um, you wanted something like this 28 million share high on September 13th of 2021. Um, you did kind of work against it. You did have about 17, 18 million shares on the 21st of March. So you had that good day. You really didn't have any follow through days. They all sold off. You're back into this area. But again, for some reason, I think people keep trading this like you're trading oil. And maybe it's just because it's part of some ETFs that do that. But my guess is that eventually this thing's going to break away uh, from the trend in oil or crude and get back in uh, to what it should trade in uh, and on is its own supply and demand. But uh, that's a little different. Crude oil's uh, down a buck, uh, 104.94. Of course, that went down. Uh, earlier in the day to, 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 to what was that? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 90, what is that, the low out here? So 95.04. Uh, was, well, that's not today. Uh, come on, move that around here. Uh, come on. Uh, let's go to the daily. Let's quit looking at it. Okay. There we go. 99.33 is the low that I show. I have a lower one. 99.95, 99.33. So we're back up 100. So 100 is kind of holding on uh, crude, but that's it. Uh, Joby, someone mentions in the den, uh, interesting company. I don't think that they make it. Um, I wrote a fairly in-depth piece of uh, uh, how it's going to be probably three to five years before they have paying customers in their vehicles unless uh, the FAA just doesn't do anything. But uh, they don't have any of the uh, regulations or anything really done yet. Uh, they crashed their primary vehicle, which is one of the reasons why this thing is kind of down here at the low. Um, again... Big push going above the February 16th high that had 18 million shares. We've got about uh, a little less than 10 right now. We'll be back in.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And uh, comment in the den made me think uh, about Joby. One of the reasons I'm not hot on it is that the FAA requires that you have, depending on what it is, 30, 45 minute reserve. Uh, for this, they need a 45 minute reserve is what the FAA would say, probably for the first five years of the flight till they get some uh, data back on what's going on in these. So 45 minutes from an uh, hour and 30 minutes only means that you got 45 minutes of range. Uh, it's the same exact problem that uh, electric uh, trainers have. Uh, if you're just going to stay in the pattern around the airport, uh, that's fine. But you can't really go more than about 10 minutes away and not bust the FAA minimums for 45 minutes. So are they going to void that? I don't think so. Uh, another problem that Joby has is they're trying to uh, thread the needle, and I don't think the FAA is going to let them have it either way. They want to use half the regulations uh, as an aircraft and half the regulations as a helicopter. And I don't think they're going to get away with that either, but that's what they're pushing for uh, in the uh, documentation for uh, them going public and everything is they're basically have this idea that they're going to be able to get the FAA to do whatever they want. It's not been the history uh, that uh, new companies like this uh, get that. Um, but uh, and I said, like I said already, uh, the first unit that they had already crashed. 
and they won't tell anybody why it crashed or what it looks like now. Uh, only that they're flying version two at the moment. But uh, yeah, maybe places other other than the United States. But it's very tough to sell aircraft that aren't uh, U.S. approved or EU approved. Either one, uh, you just never get the kind of volume you want. Sell when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you. Find the light volume here in the last hour of the day. Find the ice. Sell when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you here tomorrow.